Today I'm working on trying to get some LED strips um, to form a square. So I bought these uh, little angle brackets with the wires. Um, give me a little bit of flexibility. Um, they make a hard uh, coated one, all plastic. Um, these are made for uh, indoor lights, indoor LED strips. As you can see, the uh, strip is really small. And on these uh, strips that I bought, they're, they're the waterproof. And it's got the plastic housing on them to cover the LEDs. And what I have to do to get these to fit on them is I have to cut away this rubber or the silicone um, right up to the edge of this LED right here on this one here. I have to cut all the silicone off to get this flat so it will go into this and clip into it and then you just snap these uh, it's got little pins I don't know if you can see that but when you close down it compresses those pins to make contact with these uh, contact points on the silicon LEDs so um, like I said I've got a razor blade I'm going to cut right to the edge probably where that line is um, I might have to cut back right to the edge of this LED to get these to fit um, I looked around I didn't see any for for um, the coated or waterproof LEDs I didn't see any of these corner brackets um, that are made for the outdoor waterproof so I have to cut away the silicon to get down to the board and the board is very flimsy so you have to cut these very carefully um, I just have a razor blade that I'm going to just kind of saw back down, cut it right edge to the edge of the board, bend it over, peel off the silicon, um, whatever this, I guess that's silicon, um, covering these LEDs. So that way I can get them to uh, plug into these. And you have to um, be careful with these uh with the with the pins on the LEDs, you have you know a positive, and then you have a green, red, and blue. The black wire on these connectors are power, so then I have to make sure the power is on. The black wire connects to the LED strip. Get my hands here, um, so you know you have power and blue, green, red. So you just have to make sure when you when you uh, put these in that because I'm making a big square with uh, these four strips. So I have to cut three of these down, uh, take the silicone off, and put these uh, clips in there so I can have a, a right angle so I can uh, um, get my square that I want to do with these LEDs. So um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it because I can't hold the camera and do this same time. But I'll bring you back when I get done um, cutting that off, and then we'll see how it looks. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you can see this. Um, that's where I had cut this is the little silicone piece I cut off and what you have to do is focus here first switch hands here what you have to do with this razor blade get situated um, is cut down very easy and then you'll feel a little bit of drag as it's touching this board the strip and then when you get down, you bend it back like I have. I have it bent back just a little bit. And then all I did was when I uh, got it down close to the board, I just kind of bend it over. And then I just very easily went in there to cut the rest of the silicone off. And you just, like I said, you bend this back enough to get to the crease of the uh, silicone. And then once you have it back far enough, you can start sticking your fingernail in there and just pull it off. And this come off, as you can see, it's fairly clean cut. It'll focus. That's where the end was. And then here's where I, this other end is where I cut it. And as you can see, it's a fairly clean cut on this end that I just went down with, if you will focus. But anyway, it's... Uh, probably easier to see on a big screen but it's um, as you can see I just sawed it basically back and forth it's kinda you have to be delicate with it till you get down near the closer to the end of the board um, once you get like I said once you get down closer to the end of the board 
to the uh, strip here you just bend it back a little bit and then you just take your razor blade take your razor blade and just slowly cut on the inside this is not a very sharp blade I've used it for a few years now but you just kind of just keep sawing back and forth nice and easy because I'm, I'm not even putting any pressure right now and then you just put cut it back to where when you bend this over you can should you should be able to see down between this silicone and that silicone to the board and then you just take your fingernail and just pull it back and as you can see here it uh it cut uh, fairly clean so once i have this uh cut off and now i can put my piece in there i just have to make sure i have my um power connectors like this one should be the positive and then your red green blue strips and then I just line these up with that and I'll show you I don't have my tripod with me today so um, there's a slot in there if you can see that slot it, the board slides in that little slot and then these pins once you uh, get it lined up you just put it at the edge of the pins because this piece that little cap is longer than the actual bottom piece right here so you have to you have to cut it back almost to the LED edge of the LED. Now this one I, I cut, gosh, probably a millimeter maybe. Let's see if you can see it. That's how far back I cut to the LED, just so I have enough room so the uh, pins in here make contact with the pins on the the strip. Okay. So uh, let me uh, work on that, and I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so now I got, uh, I've got it on there. It's a little crooked. Um, the the thing with these clips, and as you see, I have um, 12 volts hooked to the. The black is positive, and the blue wire is negative. And as you can see, I've got blue LEDs. The the problem I'm having, um, this is the way most strips are. You know, with there's no solder or anything on there, but the, this end on this piece right here has been soldered. So, what you might have to do in that situation, um, what I'm going to have to do with this strip here, um, even though it's working, it's just uh, it's very hard to get this because this the the circuit board is so thin and flimsy, you can't get it in there to make a good contact. Um, so what I'm going to have to do when I come to a junction like this, that I'm going to use these little el elbow brackets um, pieces, is to um, take this solder off, and I've got some solder wick. Um, take as much as that off, so that way this little circuit board is flat, like this. So it's extremely flat. That slides in perfectly, and when you lock it down, it locks it down, and it's... Uh, I try to pull it out and it won't pull out. Um, okay, so after a little prodding with my pick, the uh, with the uh, solder connection, the uh, if you bend those pins open just a little bit, because like I said, those the pins inside here are very very fragile, so you can move them up and down with just a little bit of force. To open them up and that's all I did with this one I opened them up just a hair I stuck my pick in there just pushed up a little bit just to widen the uh, gap in the uh, for the pins and it slid on there so much easier it's it's a good well other than my wire coming off but other than that it's a um, it's a, a good solid connection from here from the LEDs to this connection I mean I pulled on it a little bit I mean you don't want to pull too hard because it will slide out um, the only thing that's holding it is that little bar that's on this little lid that pushes squeezes down on the pins to make contact so you, it grips but not like to where you could just pull you could just pull these off fairly easy but um, I'm going to be having these uh, attached with uh, tie straps so I'm going to probably put one in between these two LEDs right here and then on the next uh, strip of lights, I'll have another LED or a zip tie holding it down and, and leave this corner with nothing, no pressure. I was going to put one around the middle, but if they sag or wind or whatever comes up, I don't want any uh, force 
on this connection going in to each LED strip on the corner. So I'm just going to zip tie the, the LED strip and zip tie the LED strip here. And then that way this, this piece will be uh, free, you know, with no tension on it so it won't come off. But uh, it's working. They work fairly well. Like I said, when you have the uh, solder connections like this, um, you still have to cut the silicon off, pull it back, and then widen your pins in there just a hair with your pick. Just kind of push them and push it up to let that slide in. You want a little bit of resistance. Um, you don't want them just to go in and be able to pull out really easy. I just kind of gave this just a little bit of a tug just to hold it, and it didn't move. So... Um, that's, that's how they work and I'll, uh, get to work on the other four strips. Okay, so I have all four connected. Um, I can't, uh, I can't hook power up right now because, uh, I can't do one-handed and, uh, hold the wires and video. Um, but I got all four connected. For my square, I got the long one, two short ones, another long one and to make a square. Um, but uh, they're they're working. I have uh, I just tested all the reds are working. The blue only half is blue, and then the green, all of them are green except this last strip right here, is not shown green. So to um, I just got to go through the uh, pins on those connectors for each color, make sure they're pushed down enough to where I can get the uh, uh, LED strip into it. The only issue I had with some of these, like, um, I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one here, the strip where I cut it, it the LED is very, very close to the ends of... of like this see how short that is whereas on this side uh, it's a little bit longer than that as you can see Let me put it like that so you can see the light um, that is a little bit longer from the end to the LED and then this side is a lot shorter from the strip to the LED so that's um, an issue I ran into, like with this connector, and I think it's the middle connector. Um, it's very close to that LED, and it's not. Um, it's make the pins are making contact, but they're not making full contact. So what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do with this uh, cover is um, where they lock right there in the middle. Is uh, take my little Dremel tool and where it locks on the sides here, take that Dremel and take this section, middle section, out just a, you know, a couple of millimeters, a sixteenth of an inch or something, just to cut it back to where this uh, lid that closes is not pressed up against the LED strip. Okay, so after a few little adjustments, um, I have to, um, I got them all working now, all the red, green, and blue are working. Um, they're a little finicky. You have to open the pins up um, on the on these little connectors, um, or close them, crimp them down. Use your little uh, pick to get in there, push them down a little bit. Um, make sure they're all when you look down in there, they look about even. So when you slide the LED strip in, um, they make contact at the same time. Um, the some of these with the uh, that I've noticed on this strip, there was two of them. The uh, solder is not even. I didn't remove any solder. I didn't remove any solder. I just opened the pins up is all I did. I didn't want to fire up my soldering iron and do all that kind of mess. So what I did was I just, um, these are, some of these are not even across when I cut the uh, silicon off. So what I did was I just kind of eyeballed it, how thick it was, had the uh, little connector have the little connector beside me, opened it up, looked in there to uh, see what the height difference was, opened the pins up a little bit, slid it in um, just to see how much like drag without closing the lid on it right here. I just kind of like pushed it in 
and slowly pulled it out to see if there's any drag. Some of these I had to go back through and redo the pins. And this one, as you can see, I opened the lid up. It's still not perfect um, in there, but the strip is working. Um, and I might have to go back through. I'm going to put a little bit of silicone uh, basically all around this edge on both of these plugs on the inside around here just to keep any rain because it's still early in the season right now um, but uh, I want to put some silicone around once I make sure all these are working um, but they're very easy to take off and on for, you got plenty of room there but from here you see the difference so you have to be careful when you're putting these on to make sure that the silicon, you know, you have enough room to close that little lid to hold it down tight. Um, that's the only issue I have with these. The pins are a little finicky, um, but um, like I said, 25 minutes or so I'm in, and they're all working. So I will probably have to recheck a few of these once I mount them, because they're mounting on the little frame that I'm going to be putting on. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're all right. It sure beats getting four wires and soldering all these pads. You know, put your little solder on these pads and getting your wires and then have the wires twisted around and to make your corner pieces. Um, you could do it a lot easier that way um, if you solder the wires to it and you could just have little short runs of wire. Um, you could put, like, the plus to plus on this side at a 90 degree angle just solder across it and then have you a couple of wires but I mean your wires would be like that long it'd be torture basically to to get like this one would be easy the, the outer one you'd have to make it go around to the other uh, pad getting your lens and you have to do this if you're doing I'm doing um, six windows so I'd have to do that six times four is 24 I'd have to have 24 little wires like about like this long and then 24 of these others and this and this and to make that bend whereas these just kind of snap adjust the uh, pins plug them in snap the lid down make sure they're good and tight in there and you're done so this will save this will save you a bunch of time um so but uh yeah i'm going to uh start on another strip I'm not going to video it or anything else I'm just going to do the same thing I just did here I'm going to mount this uh, to the frame that I'm using zip tie them down like I said I'm going to zip tie in between like the LED and leave these loose so I'll put a zip tie right here on this one you know in between and I'll put a zip tie right here on these resistors right here and just leave this loose so that way if I need to take this off and readjust these pins it's really easy to do that um, unsnap it, pull it out, adjust your pins, slide it back in, and I'll still have enough room from right here to wiggle that in there because they're, they're going to be spaced out enough to not be a big deal. Okay? So, like I said, this will save you a bunch of time. They are finicky, but uh, if you've messed with LED strips, you know how they are anyway. So, um, but uh, yeah, I've got a bunch more to do. So, uh, I'm going to mount this up to the frame. Make, turn it on, make sure I've got all the, all the LEDs working, and if I don't, I'll take these off, take my pick, adjust the pins, close it back down, and use a little pair of um, clean cutters like this. This is like a cheapy, cheapy pair of like cutters. Um, they cut really good, and at the end, it's got like a little uh, plier-like section, and that's what I've been using to, uh, you know, snap these in because they're really tight so the only issue like I said you'll have with these is the distance from the LED to the uh, strip connector like this is shorter that's where you'll run into some issues you'll have to readjust the uh, re readjust these to kind of make it work maybe do like I did here on this one is grind that door back a little bit so you have a little room to make it work but other than that that's uh, what I'm doing. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks.